All right, it's time to go through the draw. The third Masters 1000 Series event of the year for the men. Monte Carlo, the first big clay court tournament of the season. And some big names are playing, but also some big names have pulled out of this event, especially over the last couple of days. Let's go have a look at the withdrawal list. So here are the big names that are not playing in Monte Carlo this year. We've obviously got Federer. He's not going to be playing for a while. Berrettini's pulled out with a hand injury. Kopfer, he's also out. Team pulled out because he got COVID only a week ago. Medvedev's pulled out and also Nadal. So some big names there and Grand Slam champions not playing in this one. But let's go to the top half of the draw because, or the top section, because we've got some big names in it. All right, we've got 16 seeds in this event and the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Novak Djokovic, the number one seed, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Fakina or Giron in the second round. Then we've got Goffin taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Dan Evans or the number 14 seed, Roberto Batista Agu. And remember, Dan Evans beat Djokovic here last year, so that is not going to be a fun match if he has to replay Djokovic or if Djokovic has to replay Evans in that third round. Next section of the draw, we've got Taylor Fritz, the Indian Wells champion, number 10 seed. He takes on the wild card uh, Katarina in the uh, first round. Winner of that match will take on either Songa or Chilich in the second round. So a bit of a throwback match, a throwback match uh, in that one. Fun to watch that one. Uh, quarter versus Van der Zandt. Winner of that play is number eight seed, Alcarez. And yes, Djokovic, Alcarez, quarterfinal. That is a possibility. They have to win two matches each. And I mean, I, I don't see how they don't get to the quarters. Uh, you know, maybe Fritz does something, but man, I mean, that, that match is only a couple wins each and they're going to get there. So, and that's the match we all want. And we might get it two, three days into the tournament, well, four days into the tournament. Next section of the draw, we're still at the top half of the draw though. We've got Rude, the number four seed. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Karatsev in the second round. Then we've got two Serbians going at it, Lajevic versus Kranovic. Winner of that match will take on either Dimitrov or the number 15 seed, Basilash Vili, in the second round. Then we've got Hercatch, the number 11 seed, taking on Monfils in the first round. That's a very fun match to watch. Winner of that match will take on either Martinez or Umber in the second round. Then we've got Ramos Vinolas taking on Grigspor. Winner of that match will take on the number 7 seed, Nori, in the second round. So, look, there's some fun first round, like, you know, first and second round matches there. Uh, Nori versus Rude could be a quarterfinal. Of course, this section of the draw also has Djokovic to contend with as well. So, you know, you could see semifinals between Rude and Djokovic. If we go by the names and the big seeds, you could get, uh, you know, Nori versus Djokovic or Alcarez versus Nori. I mean, any of those things can happen. But that's, uh, you know, top half of the draw is the scary half of the draw. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw now. We've got FAA, number six seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Musetti or Pear in the second round. Then we've got Fuchovic versus Harris. Winner of that match will take on either Hashinov or the number 12 seed Schwartzman in the second round. Then we've got the number 16 seed Sinego. He takes on Avashka in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Jera in the second round. Then we've got Fanini versus Rindenik. Winner of that match takes on the defending champion and number three seed, Stefanos Tsitsipas. And I think out of the top guys, Tsitsipas is probably liking his draw the most. There's going to be some dangerous players. Obviously, Fanini is not a great player. You don't want to play him in the second round, especially at this tournament, the one that he's won before. Stenego could be a nightmare uh, with this crowd being, you know, probably more suited to the Italians. Uh, and you've also got FAA at the top here. So FAA versus City Pass, that could be a quarterfinal, but FAA is not in great form. So I think Steph would like his draw and uh, he'd probably be ha pretty happy with how it's all panned out. All right, last quarter of the draw here. I've got Rublev, the number five seed, by in the first round. He'll take on either Diminor or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier taking on Garen. Winner of that match will take on either Chorich or the number nine seed Sinner in the second round. Then we've got the number 13 seed, Karina Busta, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either the wild card, Stan the Man Vavrinka, he's back. He takes on Bublik in the first round. That's a tough first round uh, matchup for Stan. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Delbonis. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Sasha Zverev. In the second round, so, I mean, Zverev versus Vavrinka, that could be a third round. Uh, Rublev Zverev, that could be a fourth round, uh, sorry, a quarterfinal. And then uh, Sinner versus Rublev could also be a third round. And of course, this part of the draw takes on City Pass's section. So, City Pass Zverev, they played some epics before, and they could be playing another one at this tournament. But, I mean, it's who is going to win this event? 
I don't think Djokovic has the best draw, and I don't know if I'm confident in picking him. I think Tsitsipas has the best draw, and he played well here last year. Maybe he can go back to back. Uh, maybe maybe Zverev can come good. He hasn't been great this year, Zverev. Uh, you know, he's done some crazy things on court, and we've also, he hasn't won any matches. So maybe Zverev comes good, but I think Tsitsipas is probably the one to pick. Um, Elkarez, Djokovic, they might just beat the hell out of each other and be too tired when they get to the final. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the description, uh, in the in the comments. What do you think? Who's going to win? I, I'm, I, I'm going to go with City Pass. I think he's got the easiest draw and he's also the defending champ. He won here last year. So, I reckon he goes back to back. But, you know, I, I, I doubt Djokovic at my own peril. And he's probably going to make me look like a fool as he has done many, many times.